Hello friends, this video on alcohol phenols and ethers part 2 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So out of all these type of hydrides we have discussed, monohydride, bihydride, trihydride. The monohydrides are little important because we have further classification of monohydride alcohols. So based on the hybridization of the carbon to which hydroxyl group is attached for example a tour diet in all the alcohol will have something like this coh where oh will be attached to one carbon so based on the hybridization of this carbon we have different types of monohydride alcohols so if this carbon is sp3 hybridized then we have primary secondary and tertiary alcohol or we have allylic alcohol and benzylic alcohol we'll discuss about these in the next few slide if this carbon is sp2 hybridized carbon then we have vinylic alcohol and phenols so we will we'll discuss about if you see now here in this definitions phenol is nothing but a type of alcohol right so there are two different definitions actually in one according to one definition the phenol is a type of alcohol and the other one says that alcohol is only for aliphatic and phenol is for aromatic but you should not get confused it doesn't matter Right. So let's start with the primary, secondary and tertiary alcohol. So as I told, we have discussed this. Primary means the carbon which I am talking about is attached to zero or one other carbon. Secondary means the carbon which I am talking about is attached to two carbons. Tertiary means three carbons. So if you see, this is the carbon I am talking about. So maybe this is a hydrogen here. So there are two possible combinations here. Either it is CS3OH or CH3, CH2OH. So in both this case, in this case, this carbon is attached to zero other carbon. In this case, this carbon is attached to let me draw it here. One other carbon, right? This is my star carbon. Correct? So in all of the star carbon, star carbon is nothing but the carbon to which OH group is attached. Correct? This is my primary alcohol. This is my secondary alcohol because there are two R groups here. In each of this R group will have some carbon. Here also this tertiary if you see. Carbon R2, R3. Correct. This is tertiary because this carbon is attached to three other carbons. So we have discussed this in the past few chapters. So I'll not stress on these. And they are generally liquid. Then we have allylic. So allylic, if you see, here the star carbon which I have, so I'll just first draw the star carbon here, right? The carbon which is attached to OH, my star carbon. With all these star carbons is attached to a carbon that is double bonded. Star carbon is not double bonded. Please note, star carbon is not double bonded. Star carbon is attached to a carbon that is double bonded. You see, my this is my star carbon that is sp3 hybridized if you see and this carbon is attached to a carbon and that carbon is a double bond and that's called allylic carbon so if you see this carbon is sp3 i can show you how correct so in this carbon if you see one two three four bonds it is sp3 hybridized this also if you see one two three four bond sp3 hybridized one two three four sp3 hybridized and these are also generally liquid and here also if you see you can further classify as one degree two degree or three degree so you see this is the star carbon this is attached to only one carbon so it is one degree this is the star carbon this is attached to one two carbon this is two degree this is my star carbon is attached to three other carbons so it is three degree correct so i can further classify allylic alcohols into one degree two degree and three degree alcohols let's start with benzylic and that is also sp3 so if you see this is my star carbon because it is attached to oh here this is my star carbon and this is my star carbon if you see this star carbon is not part of benzene ring so don't be confused this is not sp2 this is sp3 this is normal alcohol and now if you see this star carbon is attached to a benzene ring so this is called benzylic alcohol right where my star carbon is 
attached to benzene ring or aromatic ring and they are also generally solids here also you can classify by first degree this carbon is attached to only one carbon this is a carbon here one degree this carbon is attached to one carbon two carbon this two degree this carbon is attached to one two and three carbon so it is three correct so you can further classify the benzylic carbon also benzylic alcohol also has one degree two degree or three degree alcohol the next is vinylic alcohol here it is sp2 hybridized and the star carbon itself is double bonded so if you see this is my oh bond this is my star carbon and if you see this is double bonded so you saw in allylic alcohol the star carbon is attached to a double bond carbon the star carbon itself was not double bonded but in the vinylic alcohol the star carbon itself is double bonded correct so if you see the oh bond the star carbon is double bond. And then I have phenol. So phenol, if you see, the star carbon itself is part of the benzene ring. This is my star carbon here. The star carbon itself is part of the benzene ring. Correct? So these are my phenols. This is my phenol. This is my phenol. And if you see here, this is sp2 actually. I don't know why it is sp3. It is sp2 hybridized. And the other one which we have just discussed, vinylic was also sp2 hybridized. I can show you why it is sp2 hybridized. If you see this carbon here, there is 1, 2 and 3. See double bond also you have to count only once. 1, 2, 3, so sp2. This also point if you see 1, 2 and 3, so it is sp2 hybridized. Correct. Now we will discuss ethers. So ethers are as I told form when the hydrogen is replaced by alkoxy or aryloxy group that is OR or OER. So ethers are further classified as simple or symmetrical ethers and mixed or unsymmetrical ethers. So in case of simple or symmetrical ethers the alkyl or the aryl groups attached are same for example if you see C2H5 O C2H5 so this part and this part is same or you can have CH3 O CH3 so you see both part are same or you can have a phenol here and then you can have a phenol here right so they are symmetrical ethers because this side this side is same and then you have unsymmetrical ethers where these two sides are not same for example C2H5 O CH3 both are different or you can have a phenol here and then you can have CH3 here. So if you see this side and this side are not same. Correct? So if both sides are same, it is called symmetrical ethers. If both sides are not same, it is called unsymmetrical ether. And they are also generally liquid. So let's take one numerical here and we have to classify each of these based on whether it is a allyl, benzyl, or vinyl alcohols. Right? We discussed all these. So if you see this guy. So this is my star carbon and this star carbon is attached to a carbon that is double bond. So it is what? I'll give you two minutes to think. This is either allylic or vinylic. Think again which is this allylic or vinylic. See the star carbon is not double bond. It is attached to a double bond. Correct. So one memory tip to understand is this you know ally allies means friends right so we have we say the countries has allies the, like there is the countries has friends right so india is friend with let's suppose china so india and china is ally so that way so if you see here this is the star carbon and his friend is a double bond carbon right so his his friend is rich right so here we can the moment you think of this the star carbon is not double bonded star carbon friend is double bond so star common friend means ally right and with that you can say that it is ally just a memory tip to understand this star carbon is not double bonded star carbon's friend is double bonded right star carbon's friend is double bonded so star carbon friends means friend means ally 
so it is allylic alcohol same thing here this is my star carbon star carbon is not double bonded star carbon's friend is double bonded so it is also allylic alcohol so this and this here also if you see this is my star carbon because oh it is attached to it and star carbon is not double bonded but star carbon's friend is double bonded friend is ally so it is also allylic alcohol correct now if you see this alcohol is attached to only one carbon so it is one degree this alcohol is attached to one two carbon it is two degree this alcohol is attached to one two three carbon it is three degree correct let's say this so this is my oh group attached to this carbon this is my star carbon right so star carbon itself is double bonded so it has to be vinylic alcohol if you want a memory tip for this star carbon itself is double bond the star carbon is a winner star carbon is winner so it is vinylic alcohol just a memory tip please note this was allylic because the star carbon was not double bonded star carbon was not the winner star carbon's friend that is ally was the winner so it is allylic alcohol here the star carbon itself is the winner so it is vinylic alcohol correct and this is my star carbon here and this is my star carbon the star carbon is part of aromatic ring star carbon is part of aromatic ring straight away it is phenol star carbon is part of aromatic ring it is phenol here this is my star carbon star carbon is not part of aromatic ring but star carbon is attached to a benzene ring right star carbon attached to a benzene ring so it is benzylic this is my star carbon star carbon is attached to benzene ring so it is also benzylic star carbon is this star carbon is attached to a benzene ring so it is also benzylic this star carbon is attached to only one carbon so it is one degree benzylic this carbon is attached to one two carbon so it is two degree benzylic this star carbon is attached to one two three carbon so it is three degree benzylic let's talk about these guys this is r o r that is it is ethers both are same so it is symmetrical ethers these two are not same so it is un symmetrical correct this is my symmetrical ether this is unsymmetrical ether so let's take one numerical easy numerical where we classify this alcohol as primary secondary or tertiary this is my oh this is my star carbon star carbon attached to one carbon only so it is one degree this is primary This is star carbon. Star carbon's friend is powerful, so it is ally. That is allylic, but that is not the question. Question is whether it is one degree or two degree. This carbon is attached to only one carbon, so it is one degree. This is star carbon attached to OH. Only attached to only one carbon, so it is also one degree. This is again my star carbon attached to OH, and this is attached to one two carbon, right? One and two carbon. This is also carbon here. It is two degree. This is my star carbon here. Sorry, this is not the star carbon. This is OH. So this is my star carbon, and this star carbon is attached to one and two carbon. So it is two degree. This is OH. This is OH. This is my star carbon. This star carbon is attached to one, two, and three carbon. So it is three. Just to repeat, this carbon's friend is powerful. Friend is ally. So it is allylic. And this is also this carbon's friend is powerful. So it is allylic. this carbon is attached to benzene so it is benzylic here this carbon is not attached to benzene so it is different that's all thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attend free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching